will all of you, by God's grace, do everything in your power to uphold and care for Natalie and Adam in their marriage. If so, respond, we will. We will. We will. Let us pray. O oh God, we gather to celebrate your gift of love and its presence among us. We rejoice that two people have chosen to commit themselves to a life of loving faithfulness to one another. We praise you, God, for the ways you have touched our lives with a variety of loving relationships. We give thanks that we have experienced your love through the life-giving love of Jesus Christ and through the care and affection of other people. For God, renew within us an affectionate spirit. Enrich our lives with the gracious gift of your love so that we may embrace others with the same love. May our participation in this celebration of love and commitment give to us a new joy and responsiveness to the relationships we cherish. Through Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verses 12 through 17. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, hold yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, you must also forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you rich. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom, and with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus giving thanks to the God and Father through Him. In the name of God. I, Adam, take you, Natalie, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward. We're better for worse, we're richer for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. In the name of God, I, Natalie, take you, Adam, to be my husband, to have and to hold, from this day forward. For better for worse, for richer for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. Though so small in size, these rings are very large and significant. Made in a circle, their design tells us that love must never come to an end. We must keep it continuously. As you wear these rings, whether together or apart for a moment, may they be constant reminders of these glad promises you're making today. Natalie, I give you this ring as a sign of my vow. And with all that I am, and all that I have, I honor you. Adam, I give you this ring as a sign of my vow. And with all that I am, and all that I have, I honor you.
Natalie and Adam have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands, and the giving and receiving of rings. I pronounce to you that they are husband and wife, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. This great relationship is symbolized through the pouring of these two individual containers of sand. 
one representing you, Natalie, and all that you were, all that you are, and all that you will ever be. And the other representing you, Adam, all that you were, all that you are, and all that you will ever be. These two containers of sand are poured into the third container. The individual containers of sand will no longer exist. It will be joined together as one. Just as these grains of sand can never be separated and poured again into the individual containers, so will your marriage be. Let us pray. Almighty God, Heavenly Father of all, whose nature is love, look with favor upon Adam and Natalie who have made their vows before you. We are grateful for the families that have reared them, and for your grace, which has not let them alone, but has enlightened them with ideals, and for the providence which has led them to this happy and sacred commitment of marriage. Help this to be more than an outward union. Let it be the blending of heart and spirit and purpose. Bless and strengthen them that they may keep their covenant and live together all their days in true love and peace. We hope they will find all their tasks in life easier because they approach those tasks together. May they always cooperate with the drawing and leading of your spirit with them. May they praise you when they are happy turn to you in their sorrows. May they be noted for their good life. We ask this through Jesus Christ, the master of the art of living and the savior of all. Amen. May now kiss the bride. <laughs> May I present Mr. and Mrs. Adam Delwood. Girl. <laughs> 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 